Right, hello. We've made it a full year. Well, not a full year. We started in July, I think. Six months, half a year. Um, I'll be honest, when we started, I wasn't expecting to probably make it to the end of the year. Um, I gotta thank Ed for getting me to get my ass into gear and to actually start doing this uh, YouTube videos, vlogs, blah 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 all of them, all of the above I've wanted to do for a long time to be honest I've been thought, I've started them, I've tried them mm, always bailed or made an excuse so Ed got the act together, he got the ball rolling um, and yeah I'm really happy that uh, how it's turned out in that way uh, I am um, what are you doing, dog? Who's Hello. Hello. My name's Laura, and I'm just making loads of noise in the background. You know, and everyone says, oh, I was blown away, and I couldn't believe how nice everyone was and how good a response it was. But I generally couldn't believe, not really the views. I don't. We didn't really have too many crazy amounts of views, but the um, the comments and the, like positivity and the people asking for more and when the next one was and. And that kind of stuff I was generally, generally blown away by. So definitely going to do my best to keep it going. And and yeah, thanks for everyone who's been a part of this first first six months, the start of the uh, of Bill's YouTube career. Um, it's been emotional. Okay, so my calculations are correct. You've done Christmas Day. Christmas Day special that went down fantastic absolutely blew the lid off on the views I think obviously I'm recording this before Christmas Day so this is that's a bit ambitious um but anyway you've done Christmas Day you've done Boxing Day you probably drank too much you've definitely ate too much and you're now laid on the sofa with a leftover box of quality street of celebrations um flicking through YouTube and you've come across me so anyway we're here, we're going to do a tier chart video, a little recap of some of the videos from the year. Uh, if you're a new subscriber, if you haven't seen any of them before, you can then, from here, go and decide which ones you want to watch, which ones are worth watching. Obviously, they're all actually worth watching. Um, but obviously, I'll some rate a little bit higher than others and blah, blah, blah. So, we've got to, here's your categories we're going to go through. We've got banger, top tier content. Don't get much better than that. Good content, you know, still a solid watch. Happy with how that's gone. Meh. Meh. Does what it sounds like, really. Meh. Getting poor. Obviously could be better than dog poo. We did originally have that as dog shit. But one of my New Year's resolutions is to, to clean up the act a little bit. A little bit less swearing for the kids. A little bit. Yeah, since I started editing them, the last few while I've been away and Ed, Ed hasn't, I've, there's definitely been a... Um, Definitely been a bit lazy with the dolphin dolphin sound effects. Uh, parents, I'm sorry. There's going to be less swearing in the new year. So you don't have to worry about what your children are watching. I'm a very good role model. Anyway, there we go. Let's we'll start off with the most recent one. Tommy goes to Wales. No doubt in my mind. Absolute banger. The video's not even out yet, but I know it's going to go down well. It's what, what the fans have wanted. We've been uh, we've been talking this up for quite a while. It's, it's caused uh, quite a bit of debate in the, in the comments, but um, I think I'll speak on Tommy's on Tommy's behalf and say he's, he's very uh, very grateful for the positive comments towards him and the love that he's been getting, and he's uh, delivered that back with you know with the trip to Wales. He's got himself an enduro bike, and it's solid video. Um, Definitely, uh, definitely gonna have a part two when I'm back in the UK and can go out riding together. You just yeah, I've seen that on one of Billy's vlogs. You put your goggles round the back. Catching up with Uncle Bill Dog. Um, what did we do in this video again? So I should have probably watched these before I did this. <laughs> we watched them. Uh, this was just before actually Romania. Um, Theo, bit of a bit of a random video just call i was actually calling in at ed's on my way to go and fly to romania from luton airport and uh we had a few bits and bobs to do um 
and uh, torn between we'll go good we'll go good content there's actually some in, informative information for all you hard enduro fanatics um what was in my kit bag on my way to romania and stuff like that so a few good bits and bobs in there we'll go good content all right we'll go back to the start now super enduro track build i've got the thumbnail from episode one but i'm going to count this as all of them super enduro track build episodes i think we did nine or ten in the end um which this was obviously the start this is what you know sparked off the the youtube the youtube thing for us um and yeah we thoroughly enjoyed obviously building the track super enduro track to train on and stuff like that we just thought why not let's just document it let's see if people want to watch us just waffle on and, and you know do what we do but it and it was it was definitely well received it blew me away it took me by surprise so it's going in good content if i had to start all over again obviously there's things we'll learn or whatever probably do a few things slightly different um but it's good content ed ed filmed and edited all of them so they're definitely way more professional than the ones i've done so if you want some you know good videography and editing skills to watch go and have a look at them definitely uh definitely worth a watch next up next up another one back from the very beginning uh worst vlog ever uh what would we do this one no it was it was initially going to be i did the mx nationals round at hoax and park um and it was like just after the, we'd kind of finished the super enduro track and we were, ed was trying to convince us to keep going with youtube so now you need to do it you need to do it people are liking it it's going to pick up it's going to pick up so i was like okay yeah yeah, yeah. And then took the camera and just flopped to be honest ended up being hoaxed and did a little bit a few clips on the first day then the second day did literally nothing absolutely atrocious performance and then i went testing in italy the next week and again i thought oh, i'm gonna vlog this this would be good awful dog poo nowhere else that can go nowhere else all right next we'll go from that one straight to the factory test with johnny and manny because it was a similar setup to um the worst vlog ever obviously going flying to italy do some testing uh we've actually went to austria on this one but anyway Similar kind of setup, but we're a couple of months on now and a bit more experience. Kind of knew what I was doing or had half an idea of what I was doing. Um, and yeah, way better. Big improvement from the, the last one, the last vlog. Uh, so yeah, that's good content. That's worth a watch. Actually, no, that's a banger. I, mean, I like that one. I watched that one back and I enjoy it. That can go in banger. I'm happy with that. Um, I also, that was one of the first ones I edited the whole thing, so it's not quite as silky smooth as Ed's but I was happy with my performance to be honest next up head to head with Tommy Searle good content no banger banger because it was so unplanned we were literally riding motocross we were on the way we were, couldn't decide even in the morning we didn't know where we were going to ride it was raining everywhere in England Ended up going to Ashby, Ashby Motor Park, which is like Tommy's local track. So I was like, oh, phone dead. Oh, we're riding at Ashby. You might as well come and bring your camera, see what we can get for YouTube. Ended up being the funniest day. Well, after we did the motors, got some, did some clips for the motors or whatever. Then Tommy had added a little sniff of the positive comments from his, his <laughs> YouTube appearances and the previous videos. And he's like, oh, let's do some more. Let's do something for the vlog. So we ended up, there's a little bit of a super enduro track, not really, there's a few obstacles and stuff there. Um, so we ended up doing a lap of each and timing them all together, literally just so unplanned after we finished doing the motors or whatever. But it turned out to be the funniest video and a proper, proper good watch. And it was like the first, the first one that, um, first one that you really got involved with and were loving it. All right, e-bike ride. Um, I'm going to put it in meh because I thought it was actually quite a good video. Well, it wasn't really, to be honest. I turned up, I was way too late. We planned to go out, I think we planned to ride at meet at like four and I didn't turn up till like six. And then I had to snap my chain and then I got a puncture and then it got dark. Um, and it was, yeah, to be honest, the fact it's going and getting poor. Way more I think about it this year it was. 
Uh, but still, definitely deserved more views than what it got, but it was still pretty shit. Behind the scenes, slow motion. Um, good content. Underrated video, really. If you like, uh, if you're a fan of just cinematics and, and cool shots, it was like the leftover, the leftover slow mo clips from the the Forgotten Round video me and Ed filmed. Um, which if you haven't seen, that's on the Kex channel, I'll put the link in the description. That was like the whole reason we built the Super Enjoy track was to film this video. No, it wasn't, it was to train on, but we thought, well, there's no racing, we're in lockdown, blah, blah, blah. We filmed the video at night time. Floodlights, fireworks, it was pretty sick. So anyway, this was the leftover slow-mo clips. It's still super, super sick to watch. Um, and people weren't really a fan, really. But anyway... I met GeForce Jarvis, uh, another test, we didn't do too much racing this year, obviously, because of Covid and everything else that went on, so we actually did quite a bit of testing with the factory and stuff like that, um, and this was another one in Italy, uh, Graham came along to this one, and obviously, when Graham's there, you might as well use him to get a few views and a bit of clickbait, so the, <laughs> the vlog ended up being pretty centred around Graham, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, I was happy, I was happy with how it turned out to be honest, it was, Graham performed pretty well, he's just sold his tours and his whatever else he wants to sell most of the time, so he got a bit out of it, so good content, worth a watch, nice to see what um, you know goes on at one of our tests, when we're testing parts, um, suspension bits and bobs, uh, yeah it was pretty good. Enjoyable few days in Italy with Graham standing, Alfredo, good crack, good crack. Right, next, Romaniacs vlog. I think there was four episodes from Romania, but I'm just going to put one in. Um, I'm saying meh. The reason I'm saying meh is because I ended up editing all four episodes and putting all four episodes together myself because straight after Romania, I went to Dubai, planning a holiday, ended up getting, uh, which is when I was going to edit all the videos for, I'll do it on, I'm going on holiday for a couple of weeks after Romania. Stop picking your nose. I'm going to hold it after Romania. I'll edit all the videos, Ed. Don't worry. Be chilled. Be good. Something to do. Keep us busy around the holiday. Got to Dubai. Ended up getting a 450 Husqvarna and just rode in the desert every single day. So I had no time at all to edit the videos. And it just dragged on for way too long. And I released them too long after Romania. So I'm sorry for making these all way too long. Next time I'll plan my time a bit better. But the footage and stuff's actually good. It just I had like six hours worth of GoPro clips to try and skim through and pick some good bits out of. It just took so long. But so it's going in there. Nah, yeah, I was keeping it in there. But it, there's some good parts. That was the birth of Roxy Cam actually, which was good content. That went down well. So they're definitely still worth going back and watching anyway. Oh, oh like all the videos are. They're all fantastic. But from Romania, that leads me nicely into Dubai, um, which I'm also going to put in there. Again, there's a lot of good stuff in it. However, I didn't. Um, I should have planned what I was going to film and when the days I was going to film and stuff a little bit better. It all turned into be a bit of a rush, and then the video, the vlogs, and stuff. I was, quite, I was still happy with how they turned out, but I didn't think they made. They could have been a lot better for the um, the riding. How sick the riding was, and how sick the buy is. Um, could have been better. And I also forgot. I remember I forgot my GoPro mount the day I went like full on, not free riding, but just we did like a hundred k ride through the desert with all the Dakar boys. It was so sick. And anyway, it would have been such a sick GoPro, but we'll survive. Life goes on. Still some good bits though. The last episode from Dubai, uh, which is not what that thumbnail's from. The last episode from Dubai is on a, a track. I forgot what it's called, but anyway, it's such a sick track. It's just like fourth and fifth gear, flat out across the desert. Dunes, rollers, big ball turns. So sick. <laughs> Rescue mission in Wales. 
This was like one of the f- film. This one actually got filmed whilst we were building the Super Enduro track. Me and Ed just went out riding for the day, um, extreme riding, and we thought, ah, let's just mess around, take the GoPro, take the camera, see what we get up to. Um, and it actually turned out to be pretty sick, pretty sick little video. It kind of made me realise, you know, there's there's legs, and we can definitely, uh, you know, definitely keep some videos going. Once the Super Enduro track's built, kind of learned a lot from it, so worthwhile exercise, that's for sure. So good content. I enjoyed watching that one back. This video has gone on for far too long. I do apologise. I picked way too many videos to <laughs> review, <laughs> and and they're all going in banger of good content. I'm rating myself far too highly here. Let us know. I'm going. This is proper YouTube. Ed's going to be impressed with. Let us know in the comments if you disagree with any of my choices. FMX Battle featuring Tommy Searle and Jake Millward. To the success of the head to head at Ashby we thought, you know, maybe he's uh, milk this on a little bit more and get another head to head on the go. So we were riding at Ed's house and we just thought, you know, see what we can do for the tube. But I actually thought it could have been better. Um, Tommy, Tommy was all keen for it at the beginning of the day and then when I actually come down to it, he was acting like right morning. <coughs> Fuck that, because imagine I've already nearly died one other. I'm not doing two rounds. Oh, get a grip. We're excited, Thomas. No. Why? Because it's not even cool. I don't like the game. <laughs> <laughs> Took the lead. Yeah, but I don't think it's a good game. No, because you're forcing me into challenges. The most stupid game ever. <laughs> All right, well, I didn't want to play either. No, I don't, I'm not bothered about the vlog anyway. <laughs> so, Tommy didn't really deliver. He needed to improve his performance, so... That's going in me. Could have been better. Had the potential to be better. I want to do it again. I want to do another similar kind of form. I did like a competition where you get points if uh, you limb your take off whilst your bike's in the air or whatever. But it wasn't. didn't really have too much structure. Too much confusing. So I need to have another go at doing that. Hard Enduro in South Africa. This one's a banger, I reckon. I thoroughly enjoyed watching it back. I'm not going to lie. Well, that might make us pretty sad, actually, but some some videos i watch back and just think well oh, you've nailed it there that was fucking brilliant and uh that was one of them good crack sea to sky this one's part three i think there was three episodes from sea to sky that i did um the f- this was the first kind of vlog i did at a obviously we, again we didn't really have too many races this year so it meant you know filming and having the camera there was a little bit easier but uh yeah see the sky is like the first race i thought i'm gonna vlog this one and see what we can get um and ended up getting three episodes out of what i felt was like not a lot of filming and stuff like that so again good learning exercise learned a lot from of what to do and what to film what not to film no one in good content um obviously the race didn't go very well well three of the four days went very well won the first three days and on the final day where you can actually go and watch a video and you'll find out what happened on the final day I had a disaster and last but not least I've saved this one this is the most viewed video so far I think I'm actually just going to check because that would be embarrassing yes most viewed video so far uh, big stunts on a new motor ramp MTB Hopper they seen they actually sent us one um, earlier in the year like an, a mountain bike one just to play on and stuff and they were pretty happy with the um, with the stuff that I did on that one so then they they brought out like a, a motorbike specific ramp and they wanted to film like a, a promo video for them to use on like Facebook and YouTube ads um, so we vlogged kind of behind the scenes and stuff like that uh just messing around it was all pretty last minute really i was literally just passing eds and i was like oh the weather's not too bad to get this video done so we literally did it in like two hours the whole video the whole advert for them guys but it actually turned out pretty sick and it's quite a good little vlog most viewed video of the year i can't not be a banger can it but i got a feeling this christmas special might rival it though We'll see. That could also be embarrassing if it's an absolute flop and I'm bringing this video out a couple of days after. Um, so there you have it. It's my year on YouTube. First year. Well, half a year. I started in July, but 
Thank you very much. I think I'm 45 videos we've put out in six months. So that's pretty good going, I think. Thank you everyone for um, being a part of it and getting involved. Keep your comments coming in. Subscribe, like, turn your notifications, all that crap. We're nearly at 20k. If we could get to 20k by the end of the year, that'd be sick. And it would mean I promise to do more next year and I'll stop swearing a little bit, parents. A few parents tell us off. It's understandable. I'm sorry. Do apologise. But I think that's all. Hope again. Hope everyone's had a nice Christmas. And I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I'm in the process of edit editing a best of GoPro video for the year. Um, which has taken a long time, as you can imagine. But I think that's going to turn out pretty sick. So turn on notifications. Keep your eye out ready for that. And I think that's about it. See you in a bit. Also... I made a Instagram TV or Facebook mashup of the year video, just with like iPhone clips and loads of bits and bobs. Actually, some some bits I didn't actually post that I found on my camera roll uh, on that video, so pretty sick. So I'll put a link. First line, well, there's quite a few bits and bobs going in this description actually, so you don't have to look for it in the description. But it'll be in the description. So go and watch that. And I, see you in a bit.